Hello, cricket fans, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a captivating cricket story to tell, one that lasted over 10 minutes on the field and had us all on the edge of our seats. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our ever-growing community of cricket enthusiasts. Now, let's embark on this epic journey through the India vs. England World Cup clash. Picture this, a sun-kissed afternoon in Lucknow, with the cricketing world glued to their screens. It was a day of high stakes and fierce competition as India and England locked horns in the World Cup. The stadium was a sea of colors, echoing with the roars of passionate fans. The game kicked off with a bang as Mohammad Shami unleashed a fiery spell of fast bowling. He claimed two quick wickets, conceding only four runs within the first power play. England found themselves at 40 for four, with the mammoth task of chasing India's 230 looming ahead. As the dust settled from Shami's burst, it was time for Jasper Bummer to work his magic. Bummer's impeccable ability to shape the ball away from the batsman was on full display. He swiftly added two more wickets to the tally, leaving England staggering at 30 for two after just five overs. As the game progressed, England was desperate for a hero, and all eyes turned to their captain, Joss Butler. But Kuldeep Yadav had other plans. His delivery that turned viciously from outside off and crashed into the top of middle and off left Butler utterly flabbergasted, and he walked back to the pavilion with a mere 10 runs to his name. Shami made his way back for a second spell, and the havoc continued. He claimed another wicket, and soon, Bummer re-entered the battlefield. England was on the brink of collapse, with just one wicket remaining, and the Indian fans were in a frenzy, sensing victory. Now, let's rewind a bit. India was put into bat on a tricky, two-paced pitch. The English bowlers started well, restricting India to 35 for two in the opening power play. David Willey made a fiery start, including an emphatic celebration after removing Virat Kohli for a mere nine-ball duck. But Rohit Sharma's 87 runs held the Indian innings together in challenging batting conditions. Rohit brought up his half-century with style, smashing a boundary just wide of mid-on and following it up with an effortless six beyond deep backward square leg. The crowd roared in approval as Rohit danced down the pitch and lofted Mohan Ali over mid-off for a crucial boundary. England thought they had Rohit's number when Mark Wood got an LBW decision in their favor. However, Rohit's quick review proved it was missing leg stump, and the thunderous roar of the home crowd greeted his subsequent boundary through deep backward point. Just when Rohit and KL Rahul were forming a formidable partnership, David Willey returned to the attack and broke their 91-run stand by dismissing Rahul. It was a pivotal moment that shifted the balance of the game. As the innings progressed, Suryakumar Yadav took it upon himself to keep India's hopes alive. He was inching towards his 50 when he fell one run short after sending a delivery from Willey into the hands of Chris Wokes at deep point. In the end, India posted a total of 229 for 8, a bit shy of what they might have hoped for. However, with the incredible performance of Shami and Bummer during England's innings, it turned out to be more than enough to secure a resounding 100-run victory. What an extraordinary match it was. India's remarkable bowling performance, led by Shami and Bummer, was a spectacle to behold. They defended a modest total with precision and determination, leaving England in tatters. If you enjoyed this extended cricket narrative, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more thrilling cricket updates right here on our channel. Until next time, this is Sports RI View, signing off. Thanks for joining us on this incredible cricket journey. Take care, and we'll see you soon.